The Newry and Morn Area Learning Community has been established to meet the challenges of the requirements of the entitlement framework. The principals group meet regularly to ensure there is careful planning that will maximise opportunities for all pupils in the area learning community. Another group of teachers, who are the entitlement framework coordinators, manage the logistics of student welfare, transport and timetables between schools. The Newry and Morn ALC aims to ensure all the pupils at key stages 4 and 5 in our area have a far greater choice in the subjects they can study at both GCSE and A-level. This broader curriculum and increased access have improved the equality of opportunity for all our pupils and will eventually lead to even better levels of attainment. The work we are doing is built on good relationships and respect between schools and colleges and this is reflected in the conduct and attitude of the students. Our students are experiencing firsthand how schools other than their own are organised and it is proving to be both worthwhile and rewarding. The progress, which is evident in many collaborations, ensures the pupils enjoy the experience and are availing of these valuable opportunities. Often, the collaborative arrangements go far beyond the classroom and pupils share many extracurricular activities, such as the arts, sports and school trips, which enrich both the learning and the pastoral experience. When I was choosing my A levels, I really enjoyed Moving Image Arts, but it wasn't on offer in my school. And thanks to the ALC, I was able to travel to another school in my area to study it. The Entitlement Framework is a government initiative that sets out to ensure that all post primary pupils aged 14 and above have a greater choice and flexibility in the subjects that they choose. The Entitlement Framework provides students with access to a wide range of learning opportunities suited to the individual students' needs, aptitudes and interests, irrespective of where they live or the schools that they attend. Under the Entitlement Framework, schools are required to provide pupils with access to a minimum of 24 courses at Key Stage 4 and a minimum of 27 courses at Post 16. At both Key Stage 4 and 5, at least one third of the courses must be general, and at least one third applied, and the remaining third may be a combination of both. It's given me the chance to meet new people from the likes of the Abbey and St Mark's One Point, and to work more independently in my subjects because the Southern Regional College likes to just get on with it, rather than St Paul's gives you a wee bit of help, so it's helping you prepare for university life. The ALC has given me the opportunity to go to another school to study BTEC Health and Social, which I wouldn't be able to study in my own school. Work or nothing. It gives me more confidence in myself that I can do my own work by myself. And I find it was very helpful. And even if I go to college and all, I have to work my own and do my own work. Uh, I did take a risk by uh, going to a different school. I could have just kept safe and just kept my own week group, but I decided to go out and meet new people. And it's a good opportunity. So, what would you recommend? It improves the community feeling about it. You know, there's a great sense of friendship and all in the tech because no one's, you know, a bully. Everyone's friends there, so you just you learn so much more about what's going on around you. I would highly recommend it as I have thoroughly enjoyed the subject. As I have a great interest in it, and if you're interested in communication or going into nursing or anything, I would highly recommend it. Through the Newry and Morn Area Learning Community. We will work in partnership to maximise the academic and creative potential of all our students, enabling them to achieve the highest educational standards, thereby enriching their lives, the community and the economy.